Good evening, and welcome to the graduation ceremony of the Dover Municipal Police Academy, class number five. It is my honor to present the graduating class at this time. Class of Team Two! Please stand for the presentation of colors by the City of Dover Police Honor Guard. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Good evening. Let us pray. Dear Lord, today as we gather for this cadet graduation, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for the families. Thank you for the friends. Thank you for the community that has gathered together today to celebrate an addition to our law enforcement team. Today means that we'll be even safer than we were before. It means that lives are even more committed and these families commit to the life and the, the pledges that these officers make for the level of sacrifice. So today as we celebrate, we ask that you be with us, rest with us, keep us, help us to find joy inside of these moments. For everything that will take place inside of this graduation today, we say thank you. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you, Reverend. Please be seated and remove your hats. Good evening. I am Master Corporal Ryan Schmidt of the Dover Police Department, and I am the Public Information Officer. It is a pleasure and honor to stand before all of you today and present the graduating class. First and foremost, I want to thank each of our graduating recruits for answering the call and undertaking the strenuous but noble path of law enforcement. Despite harsh criticisms of our profession, 
you chose to follow your calling of a career in law enforcement. That is a testament to your unwavering commitment and dedication to serve your community, and we thank you for that. The 21 weeks of training you received were intense, grueling, and exhausting, but of a very high caliber. Your leaders and trainers gave you their best so that you could be on this stage today and well prepared to provide your best to your community. No matter where you go or who you encounter, people are always counting on you and always watching you. As you progress through your careers, always remember to be your very best, work hard for your community, and never lose sight of why you chose this path, to help others. I would also like to recognize our primary academy staff and instructors. I ask you please stand when called. Master Corporal Willie Johnson, Corporal Anthony Smith, and Corporal Alvin Hudson. The challenge of managing a police academy and educating the next generation of public servants is tremendous, and your hard work and commitment to our agency and public safety across the state of Delaware is worth recognition. Please join me in applauding their extraordinary efforts. We would also like to thank the chiefs of the agencies who instilled their trust in the Dover Police Department to train their recruits. Those chiefs include Chief Michael Henderson of the Delaware City Police Department, Colonel Wayne McFadden of Delaware River and Bay Authority, Chief Ralph Holm Jr. of the Georgetown Police Department, Chief Adam Gillespie of the Harrington Police Department, Chief Danny Wright of the Laurel Police Department, Chief Thomas Spell of the Lewis Police Department, Chief Marshall Kraft of the Seaford Police Department, and Chief Tory James of the Smyrna Police Department. We appreciate you giving us the chance to train the future of your respective agencies, and we hope we can continue to work together to train the best officers in the state of Delaware. At this time, I would like to welcome Chief Thomas Johnson of the Dover Police Department to the podium for comments. Thank you, Master Corporal Schmidt, and good evening. Uh, I want to take a, an extra second to acknowledge PFC uh, Siobhan Burton. Um, she joined the academy staff towards the end of the session. Um, she wasn't there for the majority, but with her presence, I wanted to make sure that her contributions were recognized. Thank you, Siobhan. And before I can begin my remarks, uh, I'd like to acknowledge again the presence of some special guests. Um, Secretary of Homeland Security, Mr. Nate McQueen. Our state senators and representatives, uh, Mayor, you're right, Secretary McQueen. <laughs> the mayor is my direct supervisor, and he claps, he claps. <laughs> Uh, many of our state senators and representatives, um, most you may not see too many here that I was not aware that there was a state level function to, uh, this evening in Wilmington, so many of them uh, are with us in spirit. They've sent their regrets. Uh, and of course, Dover Mayor Robin Christensen, our members of Dover City Council, our visiting chiefs and senior staff officers, members of the Police Chiefs Advisory Committee, and our police clergy. Our academy instructors, our fellow officers of all assignments and ranks, including our retired colleagues who are with us this evening. And certainly, our recruit class, who represent the fifth session of 21st Century Police Academy training, coordinated by the Dover Police Department. And to those, yes. And to those graduates, I'd like you to think about your progress leading into tonight, and then to begin to think about the rest of your career. You still have quite a few weeks of field training and orientation, but at some point, you will drive off the lot from headquarters to begin your first shift of independent duty. Remember to take a minute 
And soak it all in when that happens, because it only happens once your first time off the lot. Over many years of loyal service to your respective communities, you will do great things, and you will make mistakes. Try to remember that mistakes made in good faith will help you grow and show that you are trying to do your best to get it right. Pay attention to your training officers and supervisors. They will offer validation as you continue to develop your skills, and they will be there for you in critical moments when you just need a little help. Now, I would like to ask a favor of you. Use this achievement as an opportunity to thank everyone who helped get you here. Many of them are in the audience right now. Many more are right where you remember them, at critical moments in your life when you needed advice, support, or just a little help to get to the next step on life's journey. They might have been a mentor who let you make your own mistakes, but didn't let you fall too far while you figured things out. I might be reminding you of someone who helped you maintain balance in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. Or maybe someone who helped you when you were frustrated and started thinking about giving up on your dreams. If you can envision those individuals in your mind today, tomorrow you can become that impact person for someone else who, just like you, is trying to find their way to their personal potential. In my remarks to previous graduating classes, I asked them to accept their gift of knowledge and skill and use it to help others. Help being the symbolic word in my request at that first time. When we help, we serve. I asked them to always believe in themselves and their ability to do this work and to be loyal to their commitments or their obligations. I asked the fourth session that graduated just prior to you to do all that, but to also embrace honor as a part of their approach to this career. It is often said or written that policing is an honorable profession. I believe this to be true, and for it to stay that way, we must continue to earn each day the honors that we receive. Now, for a lot of reasons, I decided just yesterday that today I would talk to you about resiliency. I thought I might start with some quotes from some remarkable leaders who certainly possessed that trait. Nelson Mandela said, do not judge me by my, my, by my success. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. From Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Now here's one from Walt Disney. All the adversity I've had in my life, all my troubles and obstacles have strengthened me. You may not realize it when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. Yes, I did double check to make sure that Walt Disney mentioned kick in the teeth. Yes, he did. And Oprah Winfrey once said, do the one thing you think you cannot do. Fail at it. Try again. Do better the second time. The only people who never tumble are those who never mount the high wire. Over the past 20 plus weeks, this profession, your employer, and the academy staff asked you to do things perhaps that you thought you could not do. There were failures. You tried again. You did better and got better. 
The ones not willing to tumble probably did not make it to this stage. But all of you choose to mount, all of you chose to mount the high wire, and now you have crossed it. Resilience is the capacity each of us can develop that prepares us for life's inevitable ups and downs. It helps us adapt to any situation, no matter how serious and stressful it might be. This job is packed full of ups and downs. As the world continues to change, and in the midst of very challenging situations, you will need to adapt. You will need to be resilient. If the slogan of this class is any indication, I think you are well on your way. Arthur Ashe chose to discuss resiliency in more practical terms. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. So with that in mind, I would simply say that now you are Academy graduates, stepping onto a public stage of service. You have added the knowledge of your Academy training to your good character and willingness to serve. So please, for the rest of your career, do what you can. I will close by thanking the agency chiefs, again, who entrusted us with the development of their most valuable resources, their future leaders. Thank you to our local officials and community leaders. The support that you provide makes this academy possible. To the academy's administrative staff and faculty, both sworn and civilian, I offer a sincere thank you for another job well done. Congratulations to all of the recruits on stage today. I wish you the best of luck in everything that you do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. I would now like to invite the Secretary of State and Homeland Security of Delaware, Nathaniel McQueen, Jr., to the podium for remarks. Not quite as tall as the chief. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. This is a celebration for the young men and women on the stage, so we want to make sure we, we keep in that spirit. Mary Christensen, Chief Johnson, members of the Dover Police Executive Staff, Reverend Clergy, Chiefs, active and retired officers, families and friends, and again, most importantly, the members of the 5th City of Dover Municipal Recruit Class. It is an honor and a privilege to join you this afternoon as you celebrate your successful completion of your Dover Police Training Academy and officially become police officers in our great state. Congratulations on meeting all of you and overcoming the many obstacles faced by each of you over the last few months to complete the challenging journey. Today, all of you represent the newest academy class that will be certified by the newly created Delaware Police Officer Standards and Training Commission, recently enacted by Governor Carney. Now get ready for the next phase of your journey. That begins today. As you reset and establish new goals, know that you will not be starting over. You will be taking with you all of your life experiences and all the mentoring, training, and valuable resources that you have learned here at the Academy. Know that the Academy has provided you with the resources to reach your new goals and to be successful. You will now share the privilege of serving as a police officer and the responsibility of ensuring the safety and security of the citizens of our, and visitors across our state. As you begin this exciting journey, know that while you will serve in challenging times, Delaware law enforcement has a tremendous support from citizens across our state. You will be serving in various towns and communities across our state that views their police officers and departments as the backbone of their communities. As you write your story, be an example of the best in policing and continue to build on that support. Law enforcement agencies across our state are currently facing staffing challenges, retention, and recruiting officers. Despite these challenges, 
Delaware law enforcement remain hopeful. They're hopeful because they know that there are outstanding women and men, like the ones we see on the stage this afternoon, that are willing to serve. Thank you to our graduates. Thank you for continuing to pursue what may be a lifelong dream for many of you. Thank you for your courage and your willingness to serve. As you celebrate today, be thankful for your families and the supporters who sacrificed and assisted at home during your absence. They will continue to sacrifice along with you throughout your career. To the class, if you continue to build bridges, honor your oath, and continue to build on the strong foundation of Delaware law enforcement, you will be successful. It has been said that if you have the courage to start, you have the courage to succeed. Thank you for having the courage to start. I would also encourage you to believe in yourself, believe in your purpose, and believe you will prevail. Know that your journey is unique to you. As you add to the rich history of Delaware law enforcement, be proud to be part of the Delaware law enforcement family. Be proud of the agency you represent. Be proud of the communities you are about to serve. And during your career, leave a legacy that you, your family, and your community can be proud of. Congratulations to you all, and welcome to the Delaware Law Enforcement family. Best wishes, and stay safe. Thank you, sir. Please welcome City of Dover Mayor Robin Christensen to the podium. You're going to have to excuse me, I'm a little nervous tonight, I'm not a very good public speaker and I don't know how many of you know that there is a severe rivalry uh, here in the city of Dover between the two high schools, Dover High School and Cesar Rodney. And I graduated from Dover High School, the class of 1920. So, Many of the alumni from Dover High School are probably waiting out for me uh, in the parking lot. Chief, I need an escort. I'm going out this door because the Cesar Rodney alumni are out that door waiting for me. Now that was quite uncalled for. Officer. Having said that, and adding that little humor, I'd like to recognize two of my cohorts and partners in crime on the Dover City Government, Councilman Fred Neal and Councilman David Anderson. Without that support, the Dover Police Department could not function, nor could we run the academies where we train the finest municipal police officers in the state of Delaware, bar none. To the graduates, tonight you begin the next part of your great adventure that we all call life. You and your families must be so proud of your accomplishments that culminate with the pinning of your badge. You have chosen a challenging career which continues to be under extreme scrutiny by everyone with a cell phone who really don't understand the nature of the job that you do. But remember, you have had the most professional training that is available to the modern community police officer today by the best tax, TAC officers that are available to train you. Pay attention and gain experience and more training from your veteran field training officers. They have been there. They have done that. They have the t-shirt to prove it. Use that training wisely. And always remember, while you wear that badge, behind you are men and women and children who need you, who depend on you, and who support you as law enforcement officers. Always turn a deaf ear to your detractors, for there are many of them out there who could do the job better, but couldn't, wouldn't, because you have shown up to take that difficult job. Always do the right thing, even when no one is looking. Finally, 
always return safely to the loving arms of your family and friends at the end of your watch. And let's be careful out there. And thank you for your service. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Throughout their training, they have been challenged both physically and mentally. They have been pushed to their limits and beyond to become the best version of themselves for their communities. While each of the 18 recruits met the high standards that were set, many excelled, bringing us to the awards portion of today's ceremony. The Dover Police Academy Academic Achievement Award is awarded to the recruit who continued to demonstrate a high level of academic proficiency throughout academy training. Based on a series of tests to prove their understanding of course content, the recruits all received a final academic GPA. While all of the recruits demonstrated tremendous work in the academic area, this recruit earned the highest average in the class with a 96.3. We proudly present the Academic Achievement Award to Jeremy Bass and the Delaware Academy. demonstrated the highest level of marksmanship, proficiency, and firearm safety throughout a series of day and night firearms training and qualification courses. We proudly present the Top Shot Award to Jacob Mullahan of the Harrington Police Department. and went above and beyond 
to help their classmates throughout the challenges of the academy. Corporal Thomas Hannon began his law enforcement career in New York before joining the Dover Police Department in 2005. Corporal Thomas Hannon was also named the top municipal recruit of his Delaware State Police 76-64th Academy class, which made it even more appropriate to name this award in his honor. In 2012, Corporal Hannon sustained a leg injury during the arrest of a suspect and continued to suffer from complications as a result. On September 1st, 2017, Corporal Hannon lost his life as a result of medical complications stemming from the injury and subsequent surgeries. It is our honor to present the Dover Police Academy Corporal Thomas Hannon Top Recruit Award to Jeremy Bass of the Delaware Police Department. Any guest that a recruit has chosen to pin their badge, please come forward and stand to the left of the stage. The pinning of the badge is a long-standing tradition in law enforcement that signifies the beginning of your career of service. Recruits, as I call your name and your agency, please come forward individually to be pinned. If you have asked the guest to pin your badge, they may come on stage as I call your name. We ask that the audience please remain in your seats as we have photographers that will be taking pictures that will be available to the recruits following graduation. Delaware City Police Department. Recruit Sarah Webb of Delaware City Police Department who will be pinned by her sister, Caroline Webb. Amanda Arias of the Smyrna Police Department, who will be pinned by her husband, Probation Officer Gonzalo Arias. Sidney Smith of the Smyrna Police Department, who will be pinned by his mother, Joy King.
recruit Philip Nelson of the Dover Police Department, who will be pinned by his wife, Valerie Nelson. Lewis Police Department. Recruit Ramey Sipes of the Lewis Police Department, who will be pinned by his children, Tristan and Trinity Sipes. Georgetown Police Department. Recruit Ryland Day of the Georgetown Police Department, who will be pinned by his father, Jason Day. Recruit Joshua Garay of the Georgetown Police Department, who will be pinned by his wife, Stephanie Garay. Harrington Police Department. Recruit Paul Amalfitano of the Harrington Police Department, who will be pinned by his mother, the Honorable Kathleen Amalfitano. Recruit Jacob Mullahan of the Harrington Police Department, who will be pinned by his father, retired Newcastle County Police Officer Corporal Jason Mullahan. Recruit Christopher Sapp of the Harrington Police Department, who will be pinned by his fiance, Stephanie Jester.
Laurel Police Department. Recruit Jeremy Adams of the Laurel Police Department, who will be pinned by his father, Doug Adams. Spencer Sukar of the Laurel Police Department, who will be pinned by Chief Danny Wright of the Laurel Police Department. Seaford Police Department. Recruit Tyler Kramer of the Seaford Police Department, who will be pinned by Master Corporal Rob Wingate of the Seaford Police Department. Recruit Fevzi Darlamas of the Seaford Police Department, who will be pinned by Chief Marshall Kraft of the Seaford Police Department. Recruit Cameron Ghost of the Seaford Police Department, who will be pinned by his father, retired Pottstown Police Officer Jim Yost. James Makish, retired captain from Rikers Island Correctional Facility. Recruit Jeremy Bass, the Delaware River and Bay Authority, who will be pinned by his mother, Stephanie Bass.
please join me in giving all the recruits one more round of applause. Please hold any additional applause until after the class is dismissed for the final time. Dover Municipal Police Academy, Class 5. Before you are dismissed, please take a look around you. Never forget the bond you will forever share with your fellow classmates as a result of overcoming the challenges that the Police Academy presents. Look in the audience at your family, your friends, and your support system. When you hit the streets and become guardians of your community and bear the weight of others' problems and the stressors of this career, those in the audience, your classmates, and your fellow brothers and sisters at your agencies will be the ones that help you carry it. The policing profession continues to face unprecedented change and challenges to include recruitment of those willing to serve their community. But because of people like you who stepped up to serve despite those challenges, we have faith that the state of Delaware is in good hands. As you serve your respective communities, I challenge you to continue to be examples of courage, professionalism, and integrity. Congratulations to you all. Please stand as Reverend Dr. Carol Bogarty gives tonight's benediction. Pray with me as we pray the police officer's prayer. Lord, today we ask at the close of this ceremony, we ask you for courage. Courage for these new law enforcement officers. Courage for them to face and to conquer their fears. Courage to take them to places where many of us could not go. Courage to make good decisions. Courage to be there for one another. We ask you for their strength, strength of body as they protect others, strength of their spirit to lead others, strength as they watch and protect our communities. We ask you for their dedication, dedication as they do their job and as they do their jobs well, dedication to their communities to keep us all safe. Give them, Lord, concern and trust for others and I ask that you give us trust and concern for them. Help us to show them compassion when they need us the most. And please, Lord, remain ever by their sides when they're out in the community, and especially in those dangerous moments when they need you the most. Be with their families. Again, I ask, as they make the sacrifice, in your name we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2023 graduating class of officers from the Dover Municipal Police Academy, Class 5. Will the Academy staff please dismiss the class for the final time?
Thank you for your time this evening. This concludes our ceremony. Please go greet your officers in the lobby.